Oh, hello there. How are you today? Okay, so this particular video is helping you install the Technic Pack Launcher. I've had a couple requests for that actually, and if you haven't been able to find any videos so far, hopefully mine will be informative. So you will open up your browser of choice, you will type in technicpack.net, and you won't use a comma like I just tried to, and you will go to it, technicpack.net, and you will get this page. Now this may be confusing for you, you know, there's a lot of buttons, there's a lot of things all over the place, but I will help you out. Now you can either click on Launcher EXE here, or if you go to Technic Launcher, you can find it there. And keep in mind that if you're just going to download the client, uh, you will be able to choose later on whether or not you want to log on to a ticket server or just play single player ticket or Technic or any of the other, you know, mod packs that they have with it. So you will download it, you'll have, you know, you'll click on the EXE, you'll go save file, uh, probably, you know, if it starts working. Um, and eventually it will, you know, start to save. <laughs> or freeze, you know, as they do. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we're downloading it. Ah, system check dot... Oh, okay, so that would have been World of Warcraft from ages ago. Anyway, so we've got our Technopack launcher. It's not very big, so you know, it won't take very long. Um, that's rather deceiving. It hasn't actually downloaded any of the mod pack yet. That is to come. But you'll run it, and you will get this nice little loading screen here. And boom, here you are. So you'll automatically get this kind of area in here. You will have a whole list of different mod packs that you can choose to play. If you want to just play single player, you'd click this. If you want to play on servers, pl click that, etc. You know, Yogbox, Voxel Mod Pack, Hack Slash Mine, or just plain vanilla, whatever is your fancy. And you will put in your Minecraft username. You can have a list of, you know, different accounts that you have, and it will save them all there if you want it to. So you'll just click Remember. Um, once you have done that, you'll get a nice little, you know, figure of yourself over here once you've reloaded. And, you know, after you've done all that, account name, password, you click Login, it will automatically download the thing for you. Um, for Technic or Ticket, you've got to make sure that you choose one or the other, whether or not you want to you know, play on the servers, it has to be Ticket, otherwise it won't let you on. And a nice little trick, in case you have one of the beastier computers, you can click Options, and you can go to Manual Build Selection, and you can change it to this one over here, which is 3.0.1 for the mod pack, and it will be the latest, uh, you know, 1.2.5 release. So it will have, you know, the forest biomes, it will have ocelots, it will have all that nice new stuff that we've got, and that would be fantastic. And yes, however, we're not quite done. We'll click on memory to allocate, and if you have, you know, 8 gigabytes of RAM, it might be a good idea for you to choose 4 gigabytes here, just because all these different mods that get installed do, you know, try to sap your RAM a little bit. I tend to run about, you know, with half my RAM kind of gone. So I would click 4 gigabytes of RAM. I'd click OK, and then it will reload itself and, you know, make sure that it's going to run with 4 gigabytes of RAM for you. Or if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, then maybe you would, you know, choose 16. Anyway, so you have your 4 gigabytes of RAM. You've got your latest 1.2.5 version because that is quite fun. Otherwise, you'll just play on the recommended build, which will tend to have less errors, like less chance of crashing. Otherwise, you know, just click login and have a fantastic time. If you have a positive or negative response to this video, feel free to leave it in my comments section. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic day or night. Okay.